What's up, y'all? We're back. Not in the dungeon this time. We're in the garage. Hopefully get a little bit different lighting so I can actually show off some of these amazing baits we got this month. Um, we got two unboxings in this video. I'm going to try to run through them fast so you're not watching a crazy long video. I'm going to try not to talk too much. We got the People's Champ Box from Dark Horse Sackle and their bread and butter, the Weekend Warrior Box. We're gonna dive on in, like I said. We're gonna try to showcase these. Try to persuade you guys to start buying some of these amazing baits. We're gonna start with my favorite. And it, it, it was hard to pick a favorite this month. But Robusto. Your crappie glide absolutely crushed it. I mean, this, I've been dying to tie these baits on. I just don't want to lose any, because my luck, I'll lose them before the video. This is a uh, ES flat, is the blank. Look at that tail kick. That thing's going to glide amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's go with another glide. Get it open. I've gotten some base from Combat Lures before. Always awesome paint jobs. This is a Song 115, I believe. I have my cheat sheet. A song 115, yes. So, real quick, I do love that about Dark Horse. They'll show you what's in the box price layout plus the shipping. So, I mean, you could add these up real quick and be like, oh wow, $75, $80 box? I got well over $100 worth of baits. But yeah, that glide. Real good tail kick. I believe this is like an ounce swim bait. A little more finesse glide bait. Uh, I'm guessing Robustos was around a two-ish ounce. Slide bit. Moving on. Oh, this is tough. What do we do next? Let's go with my one of my favorite ways to catch them. If not my favorite. A crankbait. Not just any crankbait. It's a hand-carved and hand-painted balsa crankbait. So this started out as a little piece of wood that someone turned into absolute art. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've owned a fire tiger lure in four or five years. But don't fix what's not broken. Fire tiger catches fish. And this time of the year, I mean, I do start with a crank with a lot, a lot of wobble and a lot of rattles. Within the first hour, if that has not even got a hit, I'm going right to balsa. You're not going to spook them. Maybe they want a tighter wobble. There's just something about them in cold water. Early spring, early fall to late fall and winter here in Jersey. I love balsa crankbaits. And this is a new company that we have not gotten before in our boxes. UMA Lure Co. Custom balsa baits and soft plastics. This is their Colt. It's 5 16 of an ounce. That's perfect. Two inches, two to four depth. Great, great shallow balsa crankbait for the fall bite. All right, now it's top water time. Now it's top water time. We got another Robusto, which I've already told our... Uh, promotional staff and the owners of Dark Horse. This is going right in my saltwater box. Them scales, great scale job. Um, this basically just reminds me of like a pencil popper for striped bass and bluefish in the Atlantic Ocean. I believe it's called a shower, cheat cheat, the shower blow. The shower blow, so great sound. I mean, 
whenever I see a blitz for inshore or off the surf, this is gonna be like one of the first things I grab is a top water pencil. But again, for bass in the fall when they're chasing after shad balls and bait balls, and you see them busted on the surface, instead of grabbing a spook or a walking bait, grab something they probably haven't seen before. This is incredible. Personally, it's going in my inshore and saltwater box for striped bass. But this is an awesome, awesome bait. And last but not least, one of my favorite companies I found out thanks to Dark Horse, which I'm a huge balsa guy. I don't know how I haven't. Black Label Balsa by Cliff Pace, the man himself. He hand makes all of his balsa baits, tunes them. I've seen his videos of like tuning crankbaits. Like this man cares. Not just that, he catches fish for a living. So, you dang well better trust his baits. And I mean, look at that. I'm sure my camera's not doing this justice, but this clear coat and this foil job on this is incredible. And again, if you're gonna start with like a walking bait or a buzz bait in the fall, and you think you're spooking them and you're not getting any bites, I would try a balsa walking bait no rattles you know it's only going to be straight top water action drawing the fish in and i mean with the bite me eyes gotta love it gotta love it so that was briefly and quickly the people's chant box all right next up we're going to start with dark horse's bread and butter the weekend warrior box this box is gonna run you like $25, $30, I believe, maybe $5 shipping added on. You're getting well over like 50 plus dollars worth of baits in here. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. You're gonna find baits you've never heard of, companies you've never heard of that are probably gonna take the place of most of your big box brands. Just dive right on in. See, this is why I waited to do a video. I didn't want to lose any of these baits. I'm so hyped to see this in the box. Buzzin' Bait Co, man. <clears throat> I've had their apparel. Been dying to try their buzz baits. I'm a bush latte guy, so this just clicked. Here's their buzz bait. So happy to see this in the box this month. Just an all black buzz. If I had to pick a buzz bait, it'd be all white or all black. So that's absolutely perfect. Sounds great. Got a thick wire so it won't bend out easily. It's got a skirt, so if you, if you like skirts, you can keep it on there. If not, rip her off. Personally, I like naked buzz baits, but hyped. Hyped to try that out, especially in the fall. It's tough to beat a buzz bait in the fall. Everyone says walking baits. I tend to stay with my frog and buzz bait just because I have more fun with them. Moving on. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite artists, and the only way I know of this guy is thanks to Dark Horse. My man, Doc Master. Man, that freaking wiggle wart came out. Great, dog. I mean, that's gonna be a stained water killer. And in the fall, I mean, I kind of put my deep diver down and go back to a shallow. But on main lake points, secondaries, when they're suspended more than five, six feet down, like a medium diver like this would be perfect. This ain't no crazy like 12, 15, 20 foot diving crank. And it's downsized. Not crazy rattles either, nothing to spook. Uh, this is a this is an awesome looking bait, man. Oh, here's a company I've never heard of. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you get companies you've never heard of. Motivated fishing. Motivated fishing. Motivated bait co. I apologize. 
where faith and fishing meet. Oh, you could already tell. Got some scent to them. Nice and oily. Yeah, it smells like fish in the net. Love this color too. So it's kind of like a creature punching bait. But I'm probably gonna save these for next year and throw them on a Carolina. I'm probably gonna drag these offshore on a Carolina rig on my bigger lakes that I fish. I mean, you could trim it up a little bit, put it on a jig. You could punch these phenomenally too with all those appendages coming through, going crazy. Love the color too. It's like all red bottom with like a green pumpkin. It's like translucent too, like the red bleeds into it. Again, my camera is not gonna do this justice. These are some sweet baits, man. I am hyped to throw that on a sea rig. Now my hands smell like garlic, and that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Yet. Um, speaking of jigs, look what we got. Motion fishing. Motion fishing flipping jig in a 3 8 too. That's perfect. Slower fall than a half ounce for this time of the year. I like a slower fall. Oh man, this is like an awesome crawfish color too. Sardis craw, sardis craw. Yeah, hell yeah. These are whew. motion fishing, man. They make amazing jigs. They're bladed jig, the seeker. Hands down my favorite bladed jig. Like, jackhammer? Never heard of them. Motion fishing seekers. It's all you need. They won't break the bank. They will skip. They will give you some amazing action. You don't need to spend no $17.99, $18.99 plus on a jackhammer when these guys exist. So I am super excited to try this flipping jig out, man. I like just found confidence in jigs too. So this is this is perfect. And last but not least, definitely not least. We got a spinner bait. It is hard to take a shallow crankbait or burning a spinner bait out of my hands this time of the year. The white with the chartreuse too. Just like a confidence color for me. Nice thin blades, you know, it's gonna twirl, make a lot of vibrations. Colorado blade too, so if you're fishing murkier water, which my water this time of the year, you get a lot of rain, clouds. It's nasty out in the fall here in Jersey. This is gonna be a killer spinnerbait for the fall. And man, Jig Masters, you gotta love that sled head design. This is gonna be so much fun to throw. So much fun to throw. Them windy fall days just burn this shallow right under the surface and hang on. <laughs> so yeah, that that box was absolutely loaded. I mean, we got a spinner bait, a buzz bait, a jig, a custom wiggle wart, and some sweet scented plastics that are absolutely versatile. I mean, like I said, trim it, put it on a jig. You could punch these, Carolina rig these, Texas rig, whatever you want to do. This is what I'm saying about Dark Horse. They, they make you push the envelope. They make you try new things and find new confidences in baits. Not only that, you're helping out small American businesses. I mean, a lot of these artists and companies I have found thanks to Dark Horse, I reach out to and place custom orders. And some of them replace, you know, bait X, Y, and Z from your tackle warehouse, your Walmarts, whatever. Like instead of making those orders, you can reach out to these guys personally. 
and get whatever you want. You tell me, yeah, man, I need that wiggle wart. I need, I need a swim bait. I need this and that painted like this. They will do it. You will not be disappointed. And it's not going to hurt your wallet. I promise you. <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's absolutely great. I love what they're doing. I've been a supporter since I found them. I mean, how could you not? How could you not? All right, y'all, that was People's Champ Box and the Weekend Warrior Box unboxing for this last month. Um, I know it was a little brief. Um, I tried to run through it fast. There's a lot of baits to go over. I could talk about the, these baits in depth for, you know, 20 minutes plus because I love Tackle Talk. Um, I'm going to try my best to make an Instagram post, tag all the artists and all that so you see it. If not, I in the description below, I will link Dark Horse's website so you can check out their subscription packages. So, you know, you got the Weekend Warrior Box, People's Champ Box. They also have a Dabble Pack. It's basically your Weekend Warrior Box condensed. So you're not spending as much money. And it's just something, maybe you've never tried these small batch American-made baits before. Trust me, I was a little hesitant after... So like, yeah, never heard of you, never tried it. <sighs> After the first month, I was hooked. Literally, first order, I was hooked. Not only are you getting these crazy things that probably fish have not seen before, but you're helping out American businesses instead of Walmart and Dick Sporting Goods and Bass Pro. Don't get me wrong, I still order from some big box stores because confidence, they've always caught fish for me. But a lot of those baits are getting replaced from baits I get from Dark Horse. I've been pretty slacking with the YouTube recently. Um, fishing's been pretty slow for me. It's late summer to fall transition. My fish are finally getting shallow again. I finally had a, I'll call it a decent weekend last week. So hopefully the next video I have for you guys is me on the water, boat flipping some fish into this kayak on some dark horse tackle baits. Tight lines, everybody.